Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Rylan Command. I'm a master's student in the 4D Oceans Lab at the Fisheries and Marine Institute of Memorial University of Newfoundland. Since you're here, why don't I tell you about my research? I study the animals that live on the bottom of the ocean using cabled seafloor observatories operated by Ocean Networks Canada. All of the data that I use for my research is available open access on their Oceans 2.0 online data portal. I'm trying to understand temporal trends in the abundance of benthic megafauna like sea urchins and crabs and how they're influenced by ocean change. My work so far is focused on the deep sea pink urchin off the west coast of Vancouver Island. Sea urchins are important bioturbators. They rework the sediment, making nutrients more available for other organisms. Kind of like tiny deep sea farmers. In addition to changing climate, seafloor organisms are also influenced by other environmental changes on daily, tidal, and seasonal scales. This has huge implications for stock assessments and biodiversity surveys, where sampling is typically only conducted at one time of day or during one season. This type of sampling only provides a snapshot of an ecosystem, leading to incomplete information for making management and conservation decisions. Imagine only seeing a forest in the winter and having no idea of the immense change that happens only a few months prior. For much of the year, surface waters in the ocean look like this. It's hard to imagine that anything spectacular could happen here, but in spring, an explosion of life takes place and surface waters bloom with microscopic algae in such high concentrations they can be seen from space. The next part of my project will use a new cabled observatory deployed in Conception Bay, Newfoundland. The goal of this project is to characterize the abundance and diversity of the megabentha community in Conception Bay over the winter and into the spring, something that's never been done before. Since the observatory will be deployed all winter, I hope to capture the onset of the spring phytoplankton bloom to look at how the abundance and diversity of benthic megafauna changes with the huge influx of food that comes from the spring phytoplankton bloom. A huge thank you to Meopar for funding my research and for giving me the opportunity to speak today.